Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are going to be doing the follow-up, like I said we would be doing, um, with the physical Super Warriors from Otherworld, Goku Angel and Vegeta Angel. Now this is really awesome because I like how they changed the names to Angel. It means that they can link up with the other intelligence card that came out for the Dual Dokkan Fest. And yes, uh, for those of you who are a little bit newer here, I am a little bit late to the party when it, came, when it comes to doing the actual card review. I was out for like a week, a week and a half with the flu, so I didn't have any videos to be recorded. Uh, so I just want to let you know that. So thank you. I am back. Um, let's go ahead and do this card review and team building guide. If you're looking for just a team building guide, jump about six, seven minutes into the video. That's, it's going to start around somewhere around that time. If you don't want to talk about the card review, but I'll be going over the base form, the Dokkan form, the TUR variant and the LR variant on top of the actual events you're going to go up against. So let's start off by going over the base form. Super Warriors of the Other World, Goku Angel and Vegeta Angel. Leader ability is physical type key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 70%. So pretty decent for a physical type team. Now, if you've been following me, you know I don't have any physical leader on the JP side. So when I do my video for summons, I will be doing it for this unit specifically. Also because it's Gogeta, you know, you gotta love Gogeta. <laughs> Super attack is Kamehameha and Big Bang attack. Uh, does immense damage to the enemy. Passive skill is top fighters. Attack and defense plus 80% at the start of the turn. Key plus one whenever key is raised with rainbow key sphere. So you get an additional key for every rainbow key sphere you obtain. Link skills are Kamehameha, Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Experienced Fighters, and Prepared for Battle. Max stats are HP of 10,488, attack of 8,174, and defense of 5,289. I have a 12 key multiplier of 140%, and they Doken Awaken with 35 medals from the new event. It is called the Strongest Tag Team Otherworld Edition. Pretty awesome, actually. I really love the way that this is set up. How This is really epic, guys. This is really epic. Um, this is really cool too because it looks like you're going up against a straight physical round just like you are doing on the other um, intelligence round. <clears throat> so you will you should be able to go up against them with a mono strength team. Um, and it does look like that Janemba does have a type advantage, or not a type advantage, obviously it's a type advantage, but does have an advantage for removing the damage reducing skills of Super Gogeta rounds 1 through 3. Unfortunately it doesn't do it around round 4, but if you have Janemba it'll at least come in handy. Plus remember the strength Janemba will have type advantage, so it'll be tanking a little bit better. Plus if you have the optimal team, uh, that would be what two Janembas, you and your friend, and then you'd have Omega Shenron, and you'd have maybe Cell, um, or another uh, extreme strength type unit like LR Broly, or the new Rose, because you got a Rose and Broly right next to each other, and that would actually be pretty good. Um, up to you on how you want to go about that, but that would be a pretty nice team to go up against this event. You need 35 of these medals, they drop 7 at a time, so get 35 of those medals. You're actually going to need a total of 70 medals, because you're going to need to get their next Doken Waking form, Doken Waking, with another 35 of these medals. Um, Super Gogeta is immune to stunning, sealing, and lowering attack and defense, which is ridiculous. Super Janemba's advantage is lost down during stage 4, which I had told you already. Um, once you get all those medals, they will Doken Waken into Resurrected Saiyan, Super Saiyan Goku Angel, and Super Saiyan Vegeta Angel. Their leader ability is now Physical Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 80%. Now, as I said with the Intelligence leader, um, that's a really good leader ability for mono teams anyway. So if you're able to take on this event because it's a mono team, and this is as far as you can get them, then you know what? Good for you. This is a really nice leader ability for mono physical team if you don't have any other physical leads for your you know, for your teams. Um, super Attack is Kamehameha and Big Bang Attack. Causes immense damage to the enemy. Passive Skill Afterlife Cooperation Attack. Attack and defense plus 100%, which is ridiculous at the start of the turn. Key plus 2 whenever key is raised with rainbow sphere. So that means you're getting a... Chances are you're going to get a super attack off um, if you get some rainbow key orbs, especially when you have 6 keys starting. It's going to be ridiculous. Link skills are Kamehameha, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighters, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Max stats are going to be HP of 13,575, Attack of 9,656, Defense of 6,768. They have a 12 key multiplier of a whopping 150%. Now these guys will doke and waking with the 35 medals I said before from the last event and the OG Gogeta event. Now technically you're going to want to probably do the most recent Gogeta event, the intelligence one. So if you do have a mono physical team, I mean, honestly, if you're at this phase with these guys, these guys will serve as a really good leader to take on the mono intelligence Gogeta event. Um... You're going to go up against the Goku and Vegeta, then the Fat uh, Veku, and then uh, 
Paikuhan, and then the Intelligence Gogeta. Really, it's not that hard of an event. Um, you're probably going to be better off with the Big Bad Boss's Link if you really need it. But honestly, you don't need it with a model physical team. You should be able to take it on without any issues, especially with these guys. They hit ridiculous. So go ahead and you're going to get uh, 35 of these on top of the other 35 medals. And once you get those 35 medals, they finally Doken Awaken into the epic fusion of two powers, Super Saiyan Goku Angel and Super Saiyan Vegeta Angel. Their new leader ability is a fusion category lead, key plus 3, HP and attack plus 170% up, and defense plus 130% up. So now that Gogeta, like the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, you're going to really have a choice between which one you're going to want to run. Now personally I would run this one just because of the attack and um, the HP and attack buff. The defense is always cool, don't get me wrong, but you, I personally would like this leader ability over Super Gogeta. So if you're lucky, to, lucky enough to pull these guys, good for you. Physical type is key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. So that also comes into play because that means... Not only do you get the fusion category lead, that means you also can bring the two Vegitos in on this fusion's team with you. Think about that. You could bring the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, because he is physical, not the new one, but the physical one. And you can bring the new Super Vegito uh, card that had just come out. That's the Batara, uh, cat, uh, the Majin Boost uh, arc leader, I believe he was. Um, anyway, his is the physical type key plus 3 HP, so you get a 90% buff on those. Really, really phenomenal, by the way. Super attack is Kamehameha and Big Bang attack from 12 to 17 key, and Kamehameha and Final Flash from 18 key plus. That's awesome. I love Vegeta's, uh, the, the duality between Vegeta and Goku and how Vegeta's attacks change, but Goku just stays Kamehameha tried, tried and true. <laughs> um, Kamehameha and Big Bang attack 12 to 17 does colossal damage. His, uh, when they do the 18 plus, it raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy, which is ridiculous. Passive skill, last secret. Attack and defense plus 120% at the start of the turn. Key plus 2 whenever key is raised with rainbow key spheres. When conditions end, there is a condition to be met with the fusion dance. Now let's go ahead. I didn't do this in the last one. We're just going to go down here and jump down for the fusion rebirth. So, in order for you to get the fusion dance, um, you need to do... The fusion dance will occur after 6 turns and HP falls below 50%. So if you're looking at how to actually get to this Gogeta, 6 full turns have to pass and HP needs to be below 50% when he is on the field. So that's how you're going to get him to do the fusion stance to become Gogeta. Uh, until then, this is what you're going to be running with, and it still is nothing to gawk at, you know? It, it, I mean, something to laugh at. The, the, these guys are ridiculous. Attack and defense plus 120% is so OP. Um, link skills are Kamehameha, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighters, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Um, their category is only fusion, which is actually still awesome. Um... Max stats are HP of 16,263, attack of 15,700, defense of 9,869, base a dupe system, HP is 18,200, attack is 17,700, and defense is almost 12,000, and max dupe system when all four dupe pads are unlocked, this, this is just as ridiculous as the Super Vegito, HP of 21,600, attack of almost 21,000, and defense of 14,400. This guy's ridiculous. He has such crazy stats. His 24 key multiplier is 200% as typical for an LR. Um, the, when he finally meets his requirements to go into Super Gogeta, leader ability stays the same. Um, now he has a super attack of Big Bang Kamehameha from 12 to 17 key, which is phenomenal on itself. Colossal damage to the enemy. And Soul Punisher at 18 plus key, which is mega colossal damage to the enemy and lowers attack and defense. It would just be so broken if they gave him greatly lowers. That would be so epic. <laughs> uh, passive skill is Fusion's Rebirth. Recover all HP only once. Attacks effective against all types. Attack and defense plus 150% at the start of the turn. And key plus 3 whenever key is raised with rainbow key spheres. That's so, so broken. Like literally LR Gohan broken when it comes to key. Anyway, it's the same thing as the other Vegito card that I had talked about, the LR variant, which is ridiculous. This guy is just so awesome. I really want him. I love Gogeta. Gogeta, in terms of uh, Dokkan battle, Gogeta probably is one of my favorite fusion characters. Just because of how broken they made his passive skill. His new Link abilities when he goes into his fusion form is Kamehameha, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Fused Fighter, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Now he does have some really good Link skills. All of these are super relevant, super viable, um, part of the fusion category as typically you would uh, uh, guess, you know. Um, the, the stats are all going to be the same, um, and that's about it. Uh, there's nothing else really there. He keeps hidden boosts when he gets his fusion form, and he keeps a dupe system and all other stuff. It's not like giant mode, he doesn't go away. So this is really awesome. I really love this team.
So without further ado, guys, yeah, it's about uh, 10 minutes into the video, so I apologize for telling you to jump in about six or seven minutes. Yeah, you should have jumped in probably about 10 minutes. <laughs> um, now we're going to go ahead and talk about linking ability, so we're going to go ahead to dokonbattlebuilder.com. By the way, shout out to the wiki for all the other information I just gave you. Now shout out to dbz.space and dokonbattlebuilder.com. Use both of those for all my information over here. Now, these are going to be the best linking buddies for their LR variant. As you see over here, five or more. The one that stands out, obviously, is going to be the LR um, Super Saiyan, Goku, and Vegeta. They hit off six link skills, which is, you know, obviously they're going to be doing the best because they came out as a dual Dokkan Fest, and they're the same exact unit, just one's Angel variant and the other's not Angel variant. Um, just like the Super Vegito, we have the Gohan for 5 Key Links. You also have the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan over here with 5 Key Links. Super Gogeta, um, the TUR variant of the LR Goku and Vegeta. The other Super Saiyan 2 Gohans. So the Super Saiyan 2 Gohans, actually Gohans in general, I look like they're linking pretty well with them. I'm assuming because it's like Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, um, basic stuff prepared for battle and whatnot. So, yeah, that's exactly what that is. And experienced fighters and golden warriors. So, you have a mixture of all that. You also have this Goku over here. It looks like he has some pretty good link skills with them as well. So, honestly, out of all these guys, obviously, you're going to want to go for the most OP when it comes to link skills, right? Um, looking at this, if you're trying to do a mono physical team, you're not going to really have that many units to do with these guys. But it does work out well because the Super Gogeta, which is a fusion character that will get a buff, does link with, it, with him. And the good part is when he does his fusion after six rounds he still retains his linking abilities so these guys will link very well uh, i really wish that dokkan battle builder had the t had the uh, transformation over here since the key links do change we can see how much better they link but i'm pretty sure they hit off a majority of those link skills um, either way, this is going to be your best linking buddy for these guys, whether they transform or not. So make sure you guys are probably, your guys are probably going to keep these two together. All these other guys are good characters to bring with them, but unfortunately this leader ability is not going to help you out at all. Um, unless you're using like a new super type lead. Uh, that would probably be the only way you can go about getting away with adding one of these other characters in there. Um, now we switch over here. This is going to be his best linking buddies on a mono physical team. I did this a little bit separate for you guys. Now he doesn't have the best link skills. It's four a piece for each of these guys. It's, yeah, I four a piece because there's nothing with five or six. Um, this Gotenks, as you've seen him, the Super Saiyan Gotenks, he he gets around. He has really common link skill sets, so he, you're probably going to run him a lot. Um, he seals and he has attack plus 100% with a supreme damage. He does really well. Uh, the Super Vegito does link really well here with him as well for one key, two, three, so three key and 25% attack buff. Um, he's probably gonna be one of the primary units you would wanna run. The Super Vegito Blue as well, this is gonna be what? We have 10, 25% plus two key and a 2500 flat out boost. This Gohan is definitely not that bad. The Great Saiyan, the Dokkan variant, um, attack plus 10%, three key and a 2500 attack buff. Not so much, but he's still a good unit. Um, and then you have this Goku, which we're probably never going to really use, Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Passive skill is energy plus 2, attack plus 20% up for all allies. So maybe as a support unit you could run him. And then we have this Trunks, really never going to really run him. He's key plus 4, attack plus 60% up um, from the start of the turn. So you're probably almost never going to run him, but he does link for 4 link skills with him. So overall, you do have a solid guide over here for his best linking buddies in case you don't have like the op units like the super vegeto blue or the super vegeto because those two are going to be their primary units you're going to want to run on this team you do have other non do confess exclusive which are these four over here that can link well with him um now that that's all said and done let's go ahead and talk about some actual teams now this is all the fusions that you can run on here if you would like to run a full fusions team um it's that there's nothing really different as the super saiyan 4 gogeta everything's the same here except now we have a new unit to add into the mix um Obviously, we can't have these guys on the team as uh, you know as their TUR variant because they're the same exact name. I'll put them here so we can talk about rotations. So, in terms of this, we have these three Go Tanks up over here, and we're gonna have to honestly choose which one we're gonna want to run on this team. Now, obviously, you're gonna these two guys, all three of these guys, link very well together. But if we're gonna try and keep the LRs on primary rotation, that's gonna be our goal. And if we're gonna try and keep the LRs on primary rotation, unfortunately, the Super Saiyan three Go Tanks and the Super uh, Go Tanks Adult Tanks. Those two are not going to be in, and we're going to keep this Gotenks over here. Because he has four key links as opposed to the adult Gotenks with three, and the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks with two. Now, the, Go the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, uh, the physical one, he does share Super Saiyan and Fierce Battle, which is 50, uh, 25 uh, yeah 25% attack up. 
the other Go tanks gets an additional 2,500 because of the Kamehameha, that's the adult tanks. And as we said before, for the best linking buddies, this is the best for physical, he gets 3 key and attack plus 25% up, so this is probably going to be one of your best buddies for links. Um, these are just also guys for few in terms of fusions. These are just some really good units that you're going to want to run on that team. If you're not looking to run these support, these two support units either. Now, I always recommend running Pandel. It's up to you if you would like to run Bullpan. Um, she's really good for key support. There are LRs here, so you might want to take that into consideration and make sure you get your, your 18 key supers on. That's why she's here. If you guys are confident that you don't need the 3 key because of maybe the support items or you've just been playing, you're a veteran player, you know how to manipulate the board a little bit better, you might not need to have her here. We do have Coroli, which is another unit that he is kind of like one of those B-tier units for Fusions teams anyway. He's a good unit. He's not horrible by any means. Attack plus 80% up at the start of the turn. Plus, he has Super Saiyan. You know, he is a really decent unit, um, but he's one of those units where you're going to put him in if you don't have other fusion units to run. Um, so you can have him in there as well. Personally, this would probably be my rotation, these guys right here. Um, it's either going to be the Super Saiyan Gotenks just because he gets off all that key with this guy, or we could put the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta hits off three Link skills. Uh, those three Link skills are Super Saiyan Kamehameha and Super Excited or Fierce Battle. So there's no key links there. That's really, really the reason why. Um, it's up to you again on how you want to run this. Uh, you could run these two on support, like I said before. But then again, um, Pandel doesn't have any key. It's only attack, uh, only attack buff. So it's really going to be up to you on how you want to run. There are other units you can run here as well. Um, since most of these guys are physical, you could run the physical support unit. Um, again, up to you on how you want to do that. Um, or, or any type of physical support unit, honestly. It doesn't have to be specific to the mono physical uh, support anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's that, and that's what you can do. Uh, another option is to be say, just say screw it and throw in all the hard hitting OP units, get bullpen out of there, keep these guys the way it is, and then throw in like Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Or yeah, actually, that, that's probably what I would do, honestly. Just because I know I'm going to get some decent key uh, buffs between all these guys. You could get them at some point. If not, bring some good support items, especially with these guys. If you guys get rainbow key orbs. Um, that's something else you also you could think of is maybe throw a key orb manipulator that change type to rainbow that will help him out as well again up to you um this would probably well let's do it like this this would the this round right here would be my primary rotation and pandel would definitely be a guarantee i would have to play with the team before i would make the decision if i was going to have bullpen up in here if they're not getting off their key, I would definitely have Bullpan as a primary rotation. And then I would figure out which one of these four I would want in my primary slot. Honestly, these two are probably going to sit side on the sidebar. Uh, that's these two over here. I don't need to have them off screen for you guys. These guys would probably be on the sidebar. And then it would be a choice between these two for the last one to get the full key buff. Um, but overall, that's just for a full fusions team. If you're looking to do a full fusions team, when we go over here, this is going to be a mixture of a mono few, a mono physical team and a fusions team. Honestly, this is the way I would see it. I would probably have these guys right over here as we did before. I would throw Super Gogeta because he links very well with them. Um, and then I would take, well, I would actually, let me go ahead over here and put these guys back in. This guy for right here, primary. And then we would have to make the decision of who we would actually want. Honestly, I would probably throw Super Vegito as one of my primaries. I did throw all LR uh, Trunks in here just because he's a pretty good unit as well. I would probably have uh, this guy over here, the Super Vegito. He shares four key links, which is Golden Warrior for key plus one. Um, prepared for battle, which is key plus two. So that's three key and attack plus 25%. So this would probably be really good. Plus, remember, I mean, they do, will they, when he Doken Awakens to Gogeta, or Doken Awakens, when he transforms into Gogeta, if you hit that, he's also going to have the Fuse Fighter, so he's going to have additional key. Um, and then it will be, again, up to you if you want to throw some support in there, the Pandel, the Bullpan, or if you just want to go ham with fully hard-hitting units like these guys over here. Again, up to you. If you were to do something like that, um, I would probably, I would definitely throw uh, Vegito Blue because Vegito Blue does share four key links. Uh, oh, four key links. Four link skills with these guys. Four link skills does include a two, uh, two key buff plus 25% and a 2500 attack buff. Um, the only one maybe not so much would be the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. He does hit enough. He only needs 11 key. Maybe because he's lacking key, it might be better off for you to get the 11 key multiplier to go off. That's the only benefit I can really see. Um, outside of that, you'd probably replace him with the Super Gogeta 
Um, or maybe the LR, if you like the LR trunks in there because he's a monophysical unit. I mean, there's also so many monophysical units that you could throw in here that we had talked about already. So you could throw any of these guys in there as well. But that's just my opinion on the matter, guys. Let me know what you're running in terms of your team. It's perfectly fine to mix and match at this point in the game because of the way that the leader abilities are. Even a 90% attack bu stat buff. Um, attack and defense and HP is that a uh, sap buff is more to suffice when you have other units like this like Gogeta with 170 attack and the uh, HP uh, buff on them and one other thing I did want to mention um, in terms of fusions teams uh, I, I know some of you guys like to hear about the villains and I personally like about I like the villains as well there are not a lot of villains here that are part of the fusions team so um, I was going to go ahead and just talk about specifically Kariza because he is here and he links really well with Korra who is a physical unit. So I, that's the only reason why I threw him here. We do, you, you can also select uh, like a Kariza if you want, not Kariza, um, Selza, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know who Selza would really link well with though, maybe Freezer or something like that. I didn't really look into that one actually, um, but it was more of Kariza and Cooler. Cooler's a physical unit and they link for four links or four uh, link slots. So that is 5% HP recovery, which can actually be really useful. They give each other a 30% attack buff and two key. So honestly, this is a really nice setup over here if you're looking to run some villains on this team. Um, I personally like it. I do have Frieza in here just because he is a physical unit. Um, I'm not going to honestly, I'm not going to recommend a primary rotation with Korra and Frieza. Um, just because, I mean, you can do it. I'm not going to do it personally. If I'm going to do these two, I'm just going to do a, a Korra team because, you know, it, it doesn't make sense to give them a 90% buff when you can just run a Korra for 120% buff. You know what I mean? But if you really want to run some villains on this team, there you go. Um, I don't, you know what? I never did anything with Kariza. So let's go ahead and do a duplicate over here. Let's bring up a duplicate screen and let's do a live action real quick just to see who is Kariza's best linking buddies for this team. Or sorry, Cells is best linking buddies for this team. So we have Cells up over here. Let's bring down the advanced tab. And we're going to look for a link skills. Five, four. Um, so we have nothing for physical, nothing for um, fusions. So, oh look, we could actually do categories over here. Wow, nothing for categories, huh? Um, none, maybe physical? Oh sorry, that's not physical. Okay, so physical Kariza is going to have... Oh, there we go. Let me, let me bring this up. Um, Kariza is either going to have Frieza... Uh, Cells is either going to have Frieza or what is this? Uh, Omega Shenron. Yeah, this is Omega Shenron over here. So it's either going to be this, which is Brutal Beatdown, uh, Big Bad Bosses, and Shocking Speed, or Frieza, Full Power Frieza, which is Brainiacs, Big Bad Bosses, and Nightmare. So you can do him as well if you like to. That way you can have your Full Power Frieza if you have Full Power Frieza, or if you have Omega, that way you can get some villains up in there as well. But honestly, guys, it's up to you on how you want to run this. Um, again, I think a staple unit on this team is going to be your Gogeta just because of how well they link. And then everything outside of that is really going to be up to you. You have a whole bunch of really good units to choose from. We've gotten to a point in Dokkan Battle where literally there's just so many damn OP units. It's going to be, if you have all of those units, it's going to be really difficult for you to make the decisions on which ones you want to bring on the team. But anyway, guys, and thank you for joining me here today. I'm sorry. I know this was a really long-winded video, but I really like to go in-depth with my team building guides when it comes to the new op units that come out and it's, it's a little bit more intricate when they have um category leads as on top of that but anyway guys thank you for joining me here today make sure to subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you all later peace